Hi students, welcome to Samachir Study YouTube channel. In this video, very short answer questions will be discussed from Standard 10 Science Unit 4 Electricity Chapter. Romba way simple anna 4 questions oda answer paakala students. So first question anna na, define the unit of electric current. So first nama eludhu vendi answer anna na, unit of electric current. And the unit eludhu nadu kapro, adha define panna poro. So, unit of electric current, you know, ampere, A-M-P-E-R-E, A -M -P -E -R -E, that is the A being the symbol that represents. That is the definition of the ampere of definition of the students. So, that is the definition of the students. 1 ampere equal to 1 coulomb by 1 second. This is what we know. That is, we can define the current as well. I equal to Q divided by T. Okay? So, I is the electric current. Q charges. Charges represent the coulomb. That is, T is the time. So, if I is the 1 ampere, Q is the 1 coulomb. That is, T is the 1 second. That is, we will go to return. The current flowing through a conductor is said to be 1 ampere. When charge of 1 coulomb flows across any cross section of the conductor in 1 second. That is, now, Current flow is the conductor. So, what is the conductor? What is the charges? Okay. So, current flowing through a conductor is 1 ampere. What is 1 ampere? 1 coulomb of charge flows across the cross section of conductor in 1 second. That is very simple. 1 ampere equal to 1 coulomb by second. This is the definition. Okay, students. Second question. What happens to the resistance as the conductor is made thicker? So, if you clear understand this, we will know the resistance. So, resistance is the opposition for the flow of electric current. This resistance depends on R is directly proportional to L and inversely proportional to A. So, this is based on this question. This is the question to answer. Conductor is made thicker. Now, we have two conductors. Conductor number 1, conductor number 2. So, in the conductor 1, the area of cross section is less. Conductor 2 is thick conductor. Okay? So, thicker is thicker. Now, thick conductor is thicker. Now, thick conductor is thicker. Area of cross section is thicker. So, A is the value. First conductor is thicker. So, as per rule, when A increases, it is inversely proportional. So, A increases, R is decreased. So, this is the value. If the conductor is made thicker, the area of cross section is thicker. So, this is the value. If the conductor is made thicker, the area of cross section is thicker. That will decrease the resistance. So, final answer is the resistance decrease. If the conductor is thick, the conductor is thick, the A increase. So, R decreases. Third question. Why is tungsten metal is used in bulbs, not in fuse wires? So, in the tungsten metal, we use the bulb in electric bulbs. But, fuse wire is used in fuse wire. So, what is the reason? So, this is the reason why the first tungsten metal characteristics we know about. So, tungsten metal is a high melting point metal. Okay? So, high melting point is what we call it. High at current flow on allow, that is easy to melt, that is easy to melt, that is easy to melt, that is high melting point. In the feature, when the bulb is going to melt, that is easy to melt, that is current flow on allow, that is easy to melt, brightness could come. But, in fuse wire, how do you do it? Already, we have studied fuse wire, the fuse wire material must have low melting point. Low melting point, that is the fuse wire, that is the protection of the fuse wire. So, low melting point is in the fuse wire melt and we have to disconnect the circuit. So, if there is a high melting point in tungsten, that is used to be used in the fuse wire. So, how do you answer that? Tungsten has a high melting point. It is used in bulbs. This is the reason why tungsten has a high melting point. It is used in bulbs. It cannot be used in fuse wires because in fuse wires, the materials must have low melting point. Low melting point in tungsten is not enough, that is why we can use fuse wire in the fuse wire. Last question. Name any two devices which are working on the heating effect of electric current. So, heating effect of electric current is, in any device, 
எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்டோட ஹீட்டிங் எஃபெக்ட் அதாவது ஐ ஸ்கொயர் ஆர் டி தட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஹெச் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி படிச்சிருப்போம் இந்த எஃபெக்ட ஜூல்ஸ் எஃபெக்டை யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடிய டிவைசஸ் நமக்கு ஹோம் அப்ளையன்சஸ்லேயே இருக்குது ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பெஸ்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எலக்ட்ரிக் அயன் தென் டோஸ்டர் ஓவன் அண்ட் ஹீட்டர்ஸ் இது எல்லாமே ஹீட்டிங் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அதாவது இதில் வந்து கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோ ஆகும்போது நமக்கு ஹை ஹீட்டிங் கிடச்சி இதை யூஸ் பண்ண முடியும் ஸோ இதில் ஏதாவது ரெண்டு எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் நீங்கள் எழுதிக்கலாம் ஓகே ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டூட் ஆல் தீஸ் ஃபோர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இஃப் யூ லைக் திஸ் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் ஷேர் இட் டு யுவர